In this scene, the axe gen contains three descriptions. There are two growth meshes used for this hair. One for the scalp and one for the eyebrow. The two growth meshes were extracted directly from the body mesh so they have matching point position to the body base. When the underlying model is updated, doing blend shape and cleaning it up in XGen can be a lot of work. You can utilize the XGen blend shape tool for this task. Select all your growth meshes and add them into the growth mesh slot. Set the old body base and the new body base. Click blend. It will wrap all your descriptions and blend to the new model. Please note that this tool only works when the underlying topology is the same. One thing that requires attention is the clumping points. If you click on Guide, the points will still show up in the old position. To fix this, simply save your scene and reopen it. Let's blend it to another updated model with the same topology. Sometimes, even if topology is the same, some degree of fix will still be required to the XGen guides. When the XGen is not built on any extracted growth mesh, you can still utilize the blend shape tool. This XGen hair is built on bind patches, directly on the body base. And we need to blend shape this to the updated body base. To do this, simply check on no growth mesh. Set your old body base and the new body base. Then click blend. And remember, we will need to save the scene and reopen it to fix the clumping points. Thank you for watching.